Bo Nix is going to play very good. He's going to make some plays, but just not enough. Georgia's way too much for Auburn. I got Georgia big. Yeah, for sure. Georgia's got an amazing defense. Bo Nix is not going to have the space he had to make those plays. Yeah. So I got Georgia. Gotcha. Georgia is the best team in the nation. Maybe. What? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, one sentence, Alabama. Right. Right. Yeah. The next sentence, Georgia. Making sure both sides. You got them yeah. covered. I'll tell you what, man. Auburn's only chance in this game is for Bo Nix to yeah. play backyard football and do what he did last week, get off schedule, dance around, make plays that are unpredictable because if they try to run into that defense, you have no chance. Auburn's defense keeps them in the game. Bo Nix is the key to be able to try to pull off the upset. Georgia, I think, wins the game. But I think it could be closer than you think. Uh, on ABC, Michigan and Nebraska tonight. I was really surprised when I saw it in Nebraska a week ago against Northwestern. Adrian Martinez is playing at a high level, but I just think Michigan's defense is going to be able to stop the run. So I'm going Wolverines in the close one. See, I think Nebraska is underrated, and this is this is their make or break for their season, right? Yeah. This is my upset special. Wow. Okay. Nebraska right. at home. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, Dad. Come on, Mark. <laughs> Tank. Shark Tank. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. It right. <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. Forget it. Michigan are a close one. <laughs> hey, I think I, I can see why you're saying that. Yeah. But I, there's something different about this Michigan They're team, good. man. They're, good. they're not just good and efficient. They've got they've got a chip on their shoulder that they're playing with. I think they'll get pushed tonight. It'll be a close game, but Michigan wins it with Cade McNamara playing it smart. Got about a minute before the anthem. Penn State and Iowa top four showdown. Penn State will win this game because all the talk has been about Iowa's defense. Watch Penn State's defense ball out on the road tonight. I'm going Nittany Lions. Yeah, I'm the same. Both have incredible defenses, but Iowa's offense isn't there, and I think Penn State has a better chance to score. I got the Nittany Lions. Not so fast. Either one of us is stupid. I tell you, he, every year, Iowa. Well, Iowa. You're, you're a lone wolf here. I'm going Penn State, too. Oh, There's a lot of talk about. <laughs> Listen, I, like this, I love this Iowa team. Kirk Ferentz is the most underrated coach in the country, doing a great job with this. I'm going to tell you something. Penn State's for real. They win it with defense, and Sean Clifford's legs be a big difference. 54% say it's Iowa. Now, moment here in Dallas as the national anthem will be played by the Texas Marching Band. Here's the flyover, a couple of T-44 Pegasus turboprops. Those turboprops will hit you about 300 miles an hour, just sort of bringing the energy and the adrenaline into this cotton bowl as if you really need it for this rivalry. The battle line drawn right down the center of the stadium at the 50-yard line for a great scene, one of the grand spectacles in all of college football right here. It kind of gets you. Oh, it's great, man. Right there. <laughs> the chills come. I mean, I like you guys, but I love coming down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is special. All right, Texas and Oklahoma. This is a rivalry with every ingredient. There's contempt. There's jealousy. There's crooked yeah, officials. Evil. There's allegations of cheating. Stars have been made every evil. year since 1929. So they've clashed on this ground, supposedly a middle ground with a giant talking cowboy, crazy food, <laughs> big Ferris wheel to create one of the grand spectacles. Soon they'll move into a conference where it's said it just means more. How in the world could it? 
This is a big game for us. We, we know what type of rivalry this is. One of the biggest games, not just in college football, but in football as a whole. It's a big time game. It's Texas versus OU. Both teams are competing for a Big 12 championship right now. It's the intensity and the fight in this game. It takes everything out of you to win it. These are the moments that you live for. These are the moments that you want to play in. Good. All right, Kirk is going to go up and call the game with Chris Fowler. So no pick from Herbie here, but you can. Texas or Oklahoma? Texas will have the best football player in this game and B. John Robinson right now. He's probably in the lead for the Heisman as far as I'm concerned. But I think that Spencer Rattler is going to ball out today. He remembers what happened last time. Four, four over times, he was benched, came back and won the game. This means a lot. I think I like Oklahoma over Texas. This is Spencer versus Bijan. That's the whole game. OSU's got, a, OU's got amazing defense, but I think it's about Bijan today. I'm okay. going with the horn. Welcome, <laughs> <laughs> <Hook> baby. <laughs> I'm so happy. I am so happy. He's letting him know. Right in the Oklahoma set. Wait till they see this. I'm My sure. daughter's going to go to school. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. It's one of the best scenes in college football. Everybody's here. Bevo is here. My friend Bevo, where is he? Hey, Bevo. Hey, hey, Bevo. Look at him. Handsome, beautiful, steady. Look at those horns. But Oklahoma is a favorite in the game. And yeah. you're going to see a lot of this, I guess, a lot of this. <laughs> I love shooting. I love shooting the Oklahoma gun. Yes, yes. Not today, sweethearts. Go, catch it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.